Okay, here's a look at Age of Extinction, the last three Dinobots. They're the last three that are actually featured in the film. Um, so yeah, let's start off with um, Strafe, who comes with, because of his evolution pack, he comes with a little... <laughs> um, goodness. A little thingy jig but yeah, he's... As you can see, he's actually an old one from the Armada line. He's got the old power couple. So he's really easy to transform. I say ease, huh? There we go. It's not bad. An extra free figure for nothing. You pay the same price and you get this extra figure. It's not much to get excited about, but he is free, so not too bad. But the old power ports from my modern and energy it's quite funny right and so here's strafe who he's gorgeous in blue I must admit so much nicer than sort of like the gray colors but i do like him in this color twin-headed pterodactyl very cool now out of all of the dinobots he's actually the easiest one to change so I just pull off these null ray things He's got his crossbow on his back. Let's just adjust this so it's a little bit more. Simple as that. You have a new, like with uh, all the others, they all have um, knight helmets, as you can see. Unique one. Comes with a crossbow and two swords, which can be stored underneath his crossbow if you want. So he has storage for them, which is nice. I do like the fact that they've gone for storage for the weapons, which is really good. But yeah, I like how his wings become a cloak behind him, which is nice. But again, the articulation is really good, nice ball joints, etc. Nice joints in the legs. Although they all have that weird sort of like elbow joint where it's like that to have it sort of like a, that elbow joint, but it's not really that important. I never find it too uh, important. But yeah. Very cool, I do like him. Alright then, up next is... Hmm... Is... Look, I had to check the instructions, they keep changing their names. I like how all the weapons store in vehicle in dinosaur mode. Very nice. I love his, um... His sort of flare around his mane, I think that looks really nice. His colours are nice. He looks a bit weird when you see him in the packaging, but I think he looks really cool. So you take his swords out. As you probably notice, a lot of the Dinobots transform very, like, sort of similar to each other. Which is nice, so it's very simple if you want to just sort of get them and just open them and just start tinkering with them. They're all very sort of similar in design, which is very simple for you to sort of get into. Oh, seems to be always moving out of frame, which is rather funny.
just in case you couldn't stay. <laughs> so he has two swords. And again, to go with the theme of them all being knights, he has another knight hound, which is very cool. And a different one, each Dinobot has a different one. I like again how a little bit like Grimlock, these Grimlock sort of shoulder patterns. And now, oh, just tap those into the back. He's got a better skirt on the back. Yeah, and there he is. I must admit, I do like the Dinobots, especially the fact that they're sort of the dinosaurs and their knights all at the same time. I think that's very interesting and a very cool idea. Alright, one left to go, which is uh, Scorn. He's very cool, I do like him. He's got a very nice movable neck. So yeah, let's get started. I do like that, that's a nice little feature there. Turn it, you also morph slightly. Head up. And there we go, another knight. Um, what's nice about him in particular is that you're probably wondering where his sword is. It's hidden right here within his tail, which is nice. So it's completely hidden. He's probably the best one for that, really. And there he is. He's a lance of the knight, obviously. His tail's a knight, a lance. Again, another unique helmet. So yeah, very cool indeed. Let's just get a group shot of all of them together. And if by magic they all just appear. So yeah, there's all four of them, all the ones that are featured in the film. As you can see, like the Deluxe is a great size to Grimlock as a Voyager, so he still towers over them all, which is nice. Although they were all the same size, but it's nice to have him bigger. Um, we can just add up to the picture so you've got an idea of like the vehicle robots compared to them. And Bumblebee as well. There you've got an idea. So yeah, they're all pretty good in size. As with all deluxes, they sort of vary in their height to width. So if they're wider, they're not as tall. So, But it's nice with him being more stocky than tall. So yeah, there we go, all the Dinobots.